Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacey. For anyone who is new here joining me today, thank you so much for watching. So in today's video, we're going to be covering how to wear a perfect red lip. I know this is definitely something I struggled with um, being a woman of colour and having quite a full mouth. I was very, very afraid of a uh, red lipstick, but I'm going to be sharing with you today some tips and tricks that I use to make navigating the world of red lipstick a bit easier. I'm also trying a different kind of uh, edit with this video, so please um, let me know if you prefer the way that I was doing it before or if you prefer the way that I'm doing it now. If you're not already, please follow me on my Instagram. It's a bit more interactive. I kind of have a bit more engagement with you because I'm not just talking to a camera. So I do polls on my Instagram sometimes to kind of determine what videos I shoot next. And on Sundays, I do um, weekly get ready with me. So if you're interested in seeing me doing makeups live with a much more relaxed vibe, then join me on my Instagram. And in today's video, I'm not going to be doing a traditional, usual foundation routine. But if that's something that you're interested in and you need help with, please check back in my Conquer the Classic series. I'll leave a link here. If that sounds like something you're interested in, please keep watching. So before I go on to lips, I'm going to do my blusher, but I, I want to explain something to you first. This is like one product that I cannot live without when it comes to wearing a matte red lipstick. This is, let's wind that down a little bit. This is a Prep and Prime lip from MAC and it smells awful, but it does a marvelous job at making the lipstick I'm going to use sit nicer on the mouth. It doesn't go all bitty and horrible, but you have to wait for this to kind of change texture. So when you first put it on, it feels just like a regular lip balm. Don't put the lipstick on then. You have to wait for it to go slightly tacky. So that's why I'm doing it now before my blush so that when I come back to my lips, it will be the perfect texture for us to get on with a red lip. And I'm using an old but a favourite, very well loved Ruby Woo. I love blue red lipsticks. I find that sometimes orange based lipsticks, especially on black women, can just jar against the skin. Um, I find that if you are really deep, like let's talk um, Lupita Nyong'o or Alec Weck, that kind of deep, even skin colour all, all over, you can get away with those orange reds and they look fantastic on you. It also depends on the shape of your mouth. I've studied this a lot. Um, my lips um, from the side are very, I don't know if it's gonna show on the camera here, but you can see they're very round. And orange based red lipsticks on my lip shape just look like a lot. I have a beautiful friend of mine, Kareen, who's got the most gorgeous lips. She's got a, a channel as well. Her channel is I Love Natural Hair. But her lips are really flat. And so she can, and she's deeper as well. She's got a deeper skin tone than me, but she can wear those colors and they look amazing on her. So I found that a blue based red kind of suits everyone. So if somebody wants a red lipstick and I'm not really sure if it's gonna suit them or not, I'll always, always, always reach for Ruby Woo because it looks good on everybody. So if you're struggling to find a red lipstick, I'd definitely say give this one a go. But if you are shy and retiring, this is not the look for you because red lips are definitely a statement. So now that I've done my little uh, monologue, let's get onto the lipstick. I always use lipstick straight from the bullet on myself. My lips are too big, it takes too long with a brush. This is not the final look, do not stress out. I've purposely left like a rough edge to my lip because I'm going to use a lip pencil to kind of blend that in a bit better. This is another really useful tip. If you find that sometimes a lipstick is too bright, using a deeper lip pencil can make it more um, suitable for your skin tone and for your features. Um, this is a, Paris Berlin pencil. They're usually like this long when you get them, but I, I really love this pencil and I've used it a lot. So the color is 212 and it's just a really deep red and I use that. So before ombre lips were a thing, this is how I've always done lipstick because like I said, my mouth is really full and sometimes some colors don't look as great if I don't use a lip pencil. So I'm gonna show you how I do that with this. And then I just roll my lips together like this. And check the edges. And there you have it. And another reason why I like blue based reds because it makes your teeth look really 
white. So yeah, this is my favorite red lipstick to wear. Whenever I wear a red, it's always this one. So for me, my skin's still looking a little bit matte, but that's because I've only used a powder today. So I'm going to refresh it with my Pixi Glow Mist. <laughs> I use a lot. And this just brings some life back to the skin. If you can't wait for it to kind of sink in, just take your brush and tap all over the face. And that pushes it back in. Um, I've just looked at myself in the mirror and I'm like, hmm, more concealer. So I'm gonna go back to my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. bit more here and here. Then I'm going to take the yellow side which is rich yellow and just put a tiny dot of this like you really don't need a lot it's very potent and go back to my 224 and just blend this in. First we're gonna start with the brows. I'm taking my NYX pencil as usual and just using the spoolie on uh, Strugglina over here. If you don't know who Strugglina is, she is the weakest brow. This one on this side. I'm going to take a smaller mirror so I can see a bit better and just quickly fill that in. And the colour I use in this brow pencil is Espresso. And then I'll just fill in my other one. And then I'm trying out this new product today, which is the Hourglass Brow Gel. It's the Arch Defining Arch. I'm so bad at remembering names. It's the Arch Brow Volumizing Fibre Gel, um, Brow Gel in Dark Brunette. And then I'm going to do my concealer. I'm using my usual favourite, my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amand, and I'm just popping that into the dark areas of oh, my eye bags, basically. And on my eyelid, and a little bit on the outer corner here. I'm taking a MAC 224 and just blending that away. Then I'm taking a MAC 239 and I'm going in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amand again just to clean up underneath my brows a little bit, make it a tiny bit sharper and balance out any discoloration I have underneath my brows. And then we're going to move on to the skin. I think this is a really important step when you're wearing red lipstick. If you are a woman of colour and you have any discoloration in the lower half of your face, sometimes a red lipstick can make this stand out more, or, or a bright colour or a nude colour, just any colour on the lip can make this discoloration or hyperpigmentation stand out a bit more. So I'm using my MAC um, Pro Concealing Correct Duo, and the colour I'm using is Burnt Coral, just to make sure that when I put this lipstick on, it doesn't read grey in this area. 
So I give myself a very fetching goatee and then try and get rid of that little spot. Then I'm using a Zoeva 102 brush just to buff this all in and just to help brighten around here. And then just use a little patting motion to diffuse this here. Okay, so for foundation today, I'm actually not wearing a foundation. I'm going to be using my Mineralized Skin Finish Powders in Dark and Dark Deep. I, I do this a lot. Um, I don't always wear a liquid foundation. This is really quick. If you have got like decent skin, you can get away with just, even if you don't, if you don't want to wear foundation all the time, you don't have to. This gives really nice coverage for me and it's got a satin finish, which I really love. So um, I just buff this on with a really old Stila brush that I can't remember the name of, but I'll see if I can find it and put it in the description box for you guys. I'm wearing a head wrap today because my hair needs um, washing and retightening, but it's my friend's wedding next week and I want my hair to be really fresh. So I'm just gonna wear a head wrap until then. And hopefully I'll be okay. Just put a tiny bit here. If you watch my channel already, you know that I don't really put a lot of products on my forehead, so that's why I can kind of get away with wearing a head wrap because I don't really put much up here anyway. Then I'm taking the Dark Deep with the same brush and just buffing that along my jawline. It's a little bit richer, a bit warmer in color. For me, this works really well because my face actually isn't the same color all over. It's darker on my jawline and my forehead. So sometimes I find, well not sometimes, I do find that if I make my face all one colour, I just look weird. It doesn't look like me anymore, so. So my eye look today is going to be really simple because I'm doing a very strong mouth. So I'm just taking Saddle from MAC and a 217 and literally just going to do a really soft wash of this brown colour on my eyelid. Actually, I think I'm going to take a bigger brush. I'm using a, I'm using a 200 brush actually from Real Techniques because I've got a lot of eyelid space and it's just quicker if I use a bigger brush. Then I'm taking that 217 brush with no extra product on and just running it along my lower lash line. I'm taking the Estee Lauder Cold Pencil, what is this actually called? Double Wear Cold Pencil in Cold Noir 01, which is just a black and I'm literally just putting some on the outside corner. I need a smaller mirror so I can see a bit closer up. My eyes are not what they used to be. do the same on this eye. Then I'm taking a Louise Young LY13 brush and just smushing that liner in. Then I'm taking more of the cold pencil and just <laughs> would help if it was a mirror. I'm taking more of the cold pencil and just running it in my waterline. Then I'm going back to that Louise Young brush with nothing on it and I'm literally just kind of smudging my waterline a little bit so that the line doesn't appear as sharp. Thought it was gonna wake up then. I was like, no, I've almost finished. Stay sleeping. Right, back to mascara. Using my usuals again, my in extreme dimension 3D. No, I am not. One day. This is the Giga Black. This is not in extreme. One day I will, I will get it right one day. I'm using the extended. What did I just say? It's extended play mascara from MAC, Giga Black. Using that on my top lashes and my bottom lashes. If you're someone that finds that your mascara transfers, this is a really good one. It doesn't transfer, but it's not a pain in the bum to get off either, so. 
And now I'm gonna use my In Extreme 3D Black Lash Mascara here. That's what this one's called. Just on my top lashes to give more volume. You may be wondering why I do two, but I find the um, Giga Black, the extended play, gives really nice separation on my top lashes. Because I like volume but fluttery. I don't like to like start off with 10 lashes and end up with two. So for me, that's like a, a way of safeguarding that I still have like lots of lashes after my mascara's gone. It works underneath other mascaras as well, so. So there's another little tip for you. For blush today, I am loving this at the moment. I'm gonna use my um, orange, is that the color? No, yeah, pure orange um, color corrector from my concealer palette. Going back to my 102 brush from Zoeva and just popping a tiny bit of that on the cheeks. And actually I'm going to mix these two as well, a bit of NW45 and NW55. Because I don't want it to be too strong, but I do want there to be some colour there. And I'm taking a MAC 133 brush with some of my dark vanilla skin finish and just setting in here. And around the nose. Brush hair, brush hair. <laughs> then I'm taking a 129 from MAC and some dark deepest and just sweeping that gently all over so that there's no demarcation in the makeup. Oh my God, Amanda woke up so many times during this video, but luckily each time I was able to put him to bed. I'm gonna do this bit quick so he doesn't wake up now. Um, yes, thank you so much for watching. This is basically what I would do for a red lip for myself. I hope that the tips that I shared with you about the color choice and pencils and color correction and all that kind of jazz was really useful for you. Also, if there are any other bits that you're struggling with or you need a bit more guidance with, check out my Conquer the Classic series. I will try and leave one of those suggestion box things up here if I can figure out how to do that. I'm still learning all this stuff. If not, I'll we'll just put it in my description box below. Also, like I said, join me on my Instagram. I often ask people like what video I should shoot next if I I'm not sure like I have so many ideas but I don't know which one people want to see the most so I do polls on there and I ask people and it's just more fun like interacting with people rather than just talking to a camera not that that's bad because I enjoy this bit too anyway I'm gonna stop talking there thank you so much don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one bye